Ever noticed your gums looking a little red or sore after brushing? Maybe you spot a hint of pink when you rinse and immediately think, oh, what's wrong with me? Here's the truth, most of the time, it's not about the brushing or even your gums themselves. The real troublemaker hiding in plain sight is something called tartar. And no, it's not just a harmless little film on your teeth. Tartar is a rock-hard layer made up of bacteria that clings like barnacles on a boat, quietly irritating your gums, leaving your breath less than minty, and, if left unchecked, slowly damaging the foundation that holds your teeth in place. The sneakiest part? It can build up without you even realizing it's there. At first, tartar plays the long game. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't announce itself, and it forms on everyone, no matter how religiously you brush. Yep, even those of us who follow the twice-a-day, no-excuses rule aren't completely off the hook. But here's the bright side, you actually have a lot of power to stop tartar before it takes over. And no, this doesn't mean maxing out your credit card at the dentist every few months. With the right daily habits, you can slow down tartar formation or even prevent it entirely. So what exactly is tartar, anyway? Think of it this way, every time you eat, a thin, sticky film called plaque settles on your teeth. It's a mix of bacteria, bits of food, and saliva, basically, the perfect recipe for buildup. If you don't brush it away within a couple of days, that soft film hardens like wet clay turning into concrete. That hardened layer is tartar. And once it forms, it doesn't just stay where you can see it. It loves to sneak below your gum line and wedge itself between teeth, those spots your toothbrush can't quite reach. Want to know if it's moved in? Try this little experiment. Run your tongue along your teeth. If they feel rough or bumpy, kind of like a tiny picket fence instead of smooth enamel, chances are tartar is hanging out there. Some people even notice their tongue feels irritated or sore from brushing against those gritty spots. Another quick test, grab a mirror or flip open your phone's selfie camera and check the inside of your lower front teeth. If you spot a chalky, yellow, or brown crust forming there, congratulations, you've just met tartar face to face. Now, where does this stubborn stuff come from? The answer lies in your own saliva. Saliva naturally contains minerals like calcium and phosphate, which are great for strengthening enamel. But when plaque overstays its welcome, those same minerals start hardening it instead. It's a bit like how ocean water slowly turns coral reefs into stone, soft and harmless at first, but solid and immovable before you know it. The takeaway? Tartar isn't some mysterious invader, it's a natural process gone rogue. But the good news is, once you understand how it forms, you can outsmart it with simple daily care. Here's something most people don't realize, tartar doesn't grow at the same pace for everyone. For some, it creeps in slowly, for others, it builds up like it's in a hurry. The first and most common reason? Daily brushing and flossing gets skipped or rushed. When that happens, plaque has all the time in the world to harden. And your diet plays a bigger role than you might think. If most of your meals are soft, think oatmeal, mashed potatoes, or those creamy smoothie bowls, it might feel gentle on your teeth, but it actually means your mouth isn't getting its natural scrubbing. Crunchy foods like apples, celery, or baby carrots act like nature's toothbrushes, gently polishing the surface as you chew. Without them, plaque can settle uncomfortably and turn into tartar before you even notice. The second reason tartar forms faster has more to do with what's happening inside your body. Smoking, certain health conditions, and even medications can change the makeup of your saliva, making it thicker or reducing its ability to wash away debris. That little shift can tip the balance, giving bacteria an easy win. Then there's another sneaky factor, orthodontic gear. Braces, retainers, or even dental crowns that don't fit perfectly can create tiny hiding spots where toothbrush bristles can't quite reach. And wherever plaque hides, tartar is never far behind. But here's the real kicker, most people think they're brushing well, yet they're missing the mark. It's not about pressing harder like you're scrubbing a pan, it's about being precise and thorough. 
gentle circular motions, the right angle, and enough brushing time matter far more than sheer force. Now, you might be wondering, why is tartar such a big deal, anyway? Because once it settles in, it doesn't just dull your smile, it becomes the spark that lights a much bigger fire in your gums. Tartar loves to cling right along the gum line, irritating that delicate rim of tissue dentists call the marginal gums. The first warning sign is something called gingivitis, basically, gum irritation. It's the most common early stage of gum trouble, and your body gives you clues. Your gums might look puffy or turn a deeper red, and you may notice a hint of pink when you brush, chew something firm, or even touch your gums. That's your mouth's way of saying, hey, something's not right here. If that buildup isn't cleaned away, the irritation can sink deeper. Beneath the surface, bacteria start forming sticky colonies around the roots of your teeth, and that's when we step into a more serious stage called periodontitis, an old-fashioned term for what used to be called periodontosis. It's not just a fancy word, it means the structures that keep your teeth anchored are under attack. Tiny gaps, or pockets, form between your teeth and gums, making it even easier for bacteria to move in. Your breath might turn unpleasant and your teeth can start to feel a little loose. The good news? None of this happens overnight. Catching tartar early, using the right brushing technique, and adding a few crunchy foods to your daily routine can turn things around fast. Your mouth is amazingly good at healing itself once you give it the right care. If tartar and gum disease go unchecked for too long, things can take a turn most people never see coming, teeth can eventually loosen and fall out. Advanced gum disease, known as periodontitis, or periodontosis, as older dentists used to call it, isn't something that simply disappears once it's settled in. That's because by that point, certain aggressive bacteria have already tunneled deep into the tissues that hold your teeth in place. And here's the tough part, they survive by feeding on those same tissues, slowly breaking them down over time. Now, don't worry, I'm not sharing this to scare you. It's actually better to hear this in a calm conversation at home than to have a dentist tell you mid-appointment that your gums are in trouble. Understanding what's really happening gives you power, and that's a lot less frightening than the unknown. Here's the truth, periodontitis isn't something doctors can cure in the traditional sense. Once those bacteria have moved in, we can't wipe them out completely. But with the right care, consistent cleaning, professional checkups, and good habits, you can put the disease into remission. That means the damage stops progressing, your gums can heal, and your teeth can stay strong and stable for years to come. The trick, of course, is not letting tartar get that far in the first place. Preventing buildup is so much easier, and cheaper, than trying to repair what's already been damaged. And tartar doesn't just stir up gum problems, it creates the perfect hiding spot for bacteria that love dark, air-free environments. Inside those tiny pockets around the roots, bacteria can quietly trigger decay in spots you can't see or reach. Sometimes, the outer part of a tooth looks completely fine, but underneath, right at the neck of the root, it's slowly being eaten away. That's how someone can lose what seemed like a perfectly healthy tooth, all thanks to tartar lurking out of sight. But here's where the story gets even more important. Gum infections aren't just a mouth issue. Studies over the past few decades have shown that chronic gum disease can ripple throughout the whole body. People with untreated gum problems often have a harder time keeping their blood sugar balanced if they have diabetes. There's also growing research linking gum inflammation to heart issues, like heart attacks and strokes, and even to a weakened immune system overall. Both the American Heart Association and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have pointed out that gum health and heart health are deeply connected. In other words, your gums aren't just about your smile, they're a window into your overall well-being. Taking care of them is really taking care of your whole body. Just yesterday, I came across an online ad that nearly made me do a double take, one of those so-called ultrasonic tartar removers you can use at home. Picture this, standing in your bathroom, mirror fogging up, trying to chip away at tartar with a buzzing gadget you ordered off the internet. Sounds like a dental horror movie, right? 
Besides being risky, it's downright unsafe. You can't actually remove tartar that way, and you might end up scratching the enamel, the natural armor of your teeth, making everything worse in the long run. Honestly, it still amazes me that these devices even sell. Think about it, would you try rebuilding your car's engine after watching a YouTube video, or would you trust a mechanic who does it every day? It's the same idea here. No home gadget can replace a professional cleaning done with precision tools and years of training. Sure, someone might manage to chip off a little bit of tartar, but not only would it be incomplete, it could also damage the tooth surface. What starts as a DIY money saver can quickly turn into a dental disaster. The truth is, tartar isn't just about appearance, it's a medical condition that needs expert care. So, what can you safely do at home? If your gums look irritated, your breath isn't as fresh as it used to be, or your teeth suddenly seem a bit longer, those are your mouth's way of sending up flares. That's the time to call in a professional. A cleaning by a hygienist or dentist is the gold standard and the only way to fully remove tartar. But there's also a simple home rinse that can help keep new buildup from forming too fast. It's easy, mix about a quarter teaspoon of baking soda with half a glass of warm water, then add 5 drops of regular 3% hydrogen peroxide. Swish gently after brushing, no more than twice a week. Timing matters here, always after brushing, never before. Now, to be clear, this rinse won't dissolve tartar that's already hardened. Only dental professionals can do that. What it does is create a less friendly environment for bacteria, making it tougher for new tartar to stick around. In other words, it helps extend that, just cleaned, feeling between dental visits. And don't worry, your dentist won't lose business over it. Trust me, they'll be thrilled to see your gums looking healthy. If this little tip makes a difference for you, share it with friends or family, especially the ones who dread going to the dentist but always mention that stuff on their teeth. Sometimes, one practical bit of advice can change someone's entire approach to self-care. At the end of the day, a healthy smile isn't just about looking good in photos, it's about keeping your whole body well. Every small habit adds up, and your mouth will thank you for it.